Hey, what's up all my pink flower pissing fools? Welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. I'm standing in the shade underneath the Great Fairy because it's a very nice place to be. Actually, uh, okay, I was thinking the temperature would change there when I walked out of it, but I don't think it did. Anyway, we've picked up a lot of armor lately. We got the rubber set. We saw the climbing gear. We may have picked up a few cents for a few cents, a few uh, <laughs> supplies for some of the other stuff we needed. Uh. We've got a lot of silence rooms lately. We also got more red choo choos. Man, we just barely have enough to do this though. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it since I can. Mm. So we'll need to keep an eye out for warm Saflina and red choo choo jelly. Which actually, I tried to make some earlier, but it kind of balls it up. I had like eight choo choos on the ground. I threw a fire fruit onto them and it didn't hit a single one of them. And then I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do this later. But as far as that goes, you can literally just do it right here by the fairy fountain if you want. And I would do that if I had the warmth of Linus to go with it. Since I don't, we're just going to move on. What else you got? Let's see. More for the glide armor. Arrowcuda eyeball, 6 out of 6. Plenty of key swings, though. Oh, and that'll give us the set bonus for the glide armor. Yes! Do that. Key swings, obviously not a problem. Arrowcudas, a little bit, a bit of a different story there. But, like, if you know where they spawn, if you want to, like, I would almost recommend going up to that place in the sky on the way to the wind temple just killing them on the way there because then you don't even have to pick up the supplies they drop but then you might only see two or three of them and you're gonna be like oh no now i gotta go somewhere else do something else wait i can upgrade oh oh shoot okay i guess this is one of the things we need octrock eyeballs for that's why you need six eyeballs then it's for the three pieces of this oh might as well but you're not going to get any defense out of this. The only reason to even have this armor is just for being able to sneak into the hideout. Upgrading it is utterly pointless. Utterly pointless. But hey, one to three, you tripled it. You tripled the defense of it. You can't say that for most upgrades, let me tell you. Are we okay on money here? Because I know those labor costs are going to be getting yanked up here. Okay, so let's see what we need for... What is this? Oh, ember trousers, right. Right. Oh, we have all this stuff. Let's go rubber arm. Oh, we only have one electric Lizalfos horn. Yeah, we're getting to the Lizalfos stuff now. Uh. And Lizalfos horns, not the easiest thing to find. And even further exacerbated by the fact that there's, you know, 12 different kinds of them. Different elementals. There's actually just four. You know, electric, ice, fire, and then the regular ones. Still, though. Mm. And some of them have weird names, like... Like fire Lazal, I don't know, fire breathing Lazal horn or something. Uh, and it's enough to make you think, oh wait, oh hell, look at this though. And we have enough to get it to level two. Holy crap, I mean, might as well. <laughs> might as well. You never know. I can't see us needing this anytime in the near future. There's not a lot of electric stuff other than electric tubes. And you're not going to change your entire armor set just to go up against a group of one of them. Also, I don't know why I'm not skipping here. I'm just. Too busy talking, I guess. So what do we got for the froggy suit here? Let me see. What do we got for this? Fire fruit? I don't know. I guess. Put this on when you go to Gerudo. Have a little bit higher attack, but like there's literally no point. It's not a different it's the same attack bonus that you get from the, the barbarian armor and from the uh, the other one that I'm always using that I can't think of the name of because it's Phantom Greaves or whatever. It's just phantom stuff. So, anyway, Froggy Suit, we need Sticky Lizards. Fortunately, we have them, so let's go. Got the Froggy Sleeve. I'm not going to spoil what I need for the next one yet. Oh, whatever it is, I have it, so... Alright. Alright, that's all three. Whatever we need for level two, we have it. It's for at least one of them, so let's see what it is. It is Harblin Horns and Sticky Lizards again. Harblin horns, but I tell you. As many of those as I've killed, I'm surprised I only had nine. I probably sold some somewhere stupidly. Oh well. <laughs> I didn't start looking at that list until like halfway into the playthrough. I should have maybe hung on to it. But anyway, I think that's all I can do here. But that's overall more defense. If I start switching my armor around, less of a chance of me going down to one defense as a result of it. There's actually a super easy Korok I missed down here by the stable. I believe it's uh, it's one of those where you just have to shoot the jar or the acorn or whatever it is. And uh, is that it right there? Am I looking at it? No, I'm not. Hang on a second. 
It's probably in the side of a log, one of these. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Look at that. Easy peasy. Nip. Yeah, since we're pretty close by, I guess we could get this one over here. It doesn't seem like we have it yet. There's also this one here. I guess we could do that one too while we're here. So I don't really have any other plans immediately at the moment aside from just going on into Goron City. Which we're gonna have to do eventually. This place is weird. It looks like the surface of the moon or something. Oh, there it is. It's right over there. <laughs> as soon as I start talking about the atmosphere, the background, that's when it all comes together. So we need an apple. I have plenty of those. Right up here, or maybe down here. Okay, can we just sort by type here? Make this all a lot easier. <laughs> oh, it'd be nice if you could save like favorites or something, but then again, a lot of things would be nice, I suppose, in life. It'd be nice if uh, traffic didn't exist. It would be nice if you could. It'd be nice if escalators didn't break all the time because good Lord, does it ever seem like they do. Hmm. Where was that one? I was just... Is that over here? Is that up here? There you are. I see you. I guess we might as well grab this one on top of the mountain. We saw this on the way to the other one, so might as well talk to him. We haven't been really done a lot of these. I think I've done like five of them in all. That one's going to be way the hell up there, though. Gee whiz. Hmm. Okay. Well, if you place this guy just right... We might be able... Oh, it's like it's nothing but a hill there, though, so... Uh, and if you place him on uneven ground, he's going to roll away, so maybe not do that. Let me just check the surroundings here, see what our options are. Well, we got a platform here. Maybe it wants me to make a balloon fist. Man, I've been recording all day, and I can feel it in my throat. It's starting to, starting to catch up with me here. I've basically been recording solid for like two weeks now. So now we need a flamethrower. So you don't want to bump your head on a cliff when you're going up, but you also don't want to be so far away from the cliff that you can't reach out with your ultra hand to actually set him down up there. So it's a very fine line between two very extreme points here. So you got to really kind of know your limits a little bit here. And I guess if it fails, you can just try again. Just remember where you took off from the first time, and then maybe that won't be as much of an issue. So I'm basically doing it from... I would say two inches from the cliff here, and that's with it diagonally pointing towards the cliff. Let's try that. And then while it's going up, we're going to go ahead and take the liberty, like Tom Fox, take the liberty, grab him, pull him up, and when we get to the top, just push him in. Flame emitter will last as long as your batteries do. Well, stand to the front here, and drop, and drop with him. And oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 no. Nope. I don't think so. Alright, ready, and let him go. No, 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 let him go, let him go, let him go. It's, it did it, let him go. Where is he? Where is he right now? Oh my god, oh my god. Get back here. Oh my god, no, this is not happening. This is not happening. What am I fusing for? What are you pissing for? We failed. It's okay. It worked, though. That's the point. Is it worked? We can try it again. As long as he doesn't roll off the side. Where are you going? Where are you going, man? <laughs> Jeez, man. Oh, the things that can happen when you play with these freaking Koroks, man. Put you down there, and I'm going to jump down after you. And there we go. We got him that time. The balloon is honestly probably the safest way to do it. Just because of how slow it is. There we go. Gotcha there. It only took... Mmm... <laughs> I don't want to know how long that took, honestly, but, but anyway, that one's done. So we can head up here. Oh, God, Blood Mood. Hell yeah. Wait, what time is it? It's 1030. We have time to go do some. Uh, just run back to Lookout Landing. There's a nice little clay pot right there. And we got plenty of hardy gas to work with if you want to do that, or you can make some potions. You can do anything you want to, man. And then after that, since it is a Blood Moon, I'll be able to go kill my enemies downstairs. And then just after that, go polish off the rare stone taluses. See what I did there? Yeah, I only had like 10 seconds to think of that while the loading screen was on. Okay, um... Here we go. Okay, but it has to be after 11.30, right? So, maybe just stand here and think about what we want. Alright, 11.30, let's go. 
That's a big, that's a hardy rhinus right there, by the way. Oh, well, look at that, yeah. That's not that much better than what it would normally do. Let me see what a hardy bass does. Also, don't get rid of all of these, you know, because you still need them for the upgrades, but... Oh, in the meantime, they're so easy to get, though, like, it's not really a big deal. Let's try it. Plus three, yeah. I mean, it's gonna be at least plus one, so... Uh, let's try... Oh, wait, I need to make some stamina potions. So here, how about one, two... I mean, let's just go all in. Restless Crickets are also a dime a dozen, so... Don't even mess with it. And let's throw in a little bit of Coblin Horn. I'm kind of surprised I don't have more of those, but... Yeah, yeah it's coming. That Blood Moon is coming. Ooh, boy, look at that. Hell yeah. Let's see here. Okay, I haven't even seen what time it is for, like, the last four cookings. Let's try to leave as little time as possible in between holding the items and actually putting them down. So 11.35, we got plenty of time. Might as well use up our hardy truffles. Let's go. I'll start skipping here. Full recovery plus five. Hell yeah, dude. What about the big one, then? Jeez, let's find out. Also plus five. Yeah, I guess there is kind of a cap on it, though, isn't there? Can't have stuff giving you 19 yellow hearts. Leave that to the first game. Anyway. Oh, plus two. Wait, so, wow, that wasn't even... It's still 11.35, jeez. At some point, I guess we're gonna need this, so... I'll just put in four. I don't need all five. Yeah, attack up boost, baby. It's just long enough, too. So... I mentioned bone proficiency before. That's an attack up boost on a certain piece of armor or set of armor that we, oh my gosh, that we don't have yet. I need to go get that. I'm gonna do that like pretty soon here, I think. But that bone proficiency is a bonus of 1.8 and it stacks with the regular attack up bonus. So by the time you add those together, you're getting a 2.7 multiplier to all damage, 2.7. So you got a weapon that does like 60 damage. Well, now it's doing, uh, let me think about it. 120, plus 40, 162. That's crazy. That's on each hit too. You know, so you got a monster that has 800 HP, just hit it five times, it's dead. 800 is quite a bit of HP. You can't see HP values in this game, but if you remember the ones from the previous game, they're mostly the same. Like silvers have about 640. Line elves have like 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Um, yeah, we're done here. Actually, I'm gonna warp to Kakariko. I'm gonna go ahead and get that armor. I can't believe I haven't gone back for that because, like, I wanted to do that. But also, I guess I wasn't in a position to buy it then because it is pretty expensive, even with the discount. Man, it's amazing you can't remember what monsters I killed, but you can remember my exact position, whether I was paragliding, what direction I was facing, and all that, too. I guess that goes on the next batch. So, you'll have to. So we're already filling up the space and we haven't even beaten anything yet. What am I doing? Finding that shop. Well, first of all, I want to see if I can find the shop that sells the Aracuda wings. Is that this? It's one of these shops around here does. Well, what do you sell? Oh my god. And furthermore, like when you get in a shop like this, you can actually take pictures of the stuff that's in there. So this is an excellent place, if you haven't already done it, to get pictures of stuff you don't have. What's that down there? So it says present. Anyway, I'm going to get these. So, yep. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty cheap, you know? Easier to hit a target? Yeah, like I'm gonna use those for that. Save that for the key eyeballs. They're a lot easier to find. Eager, aren't we? Oh, you bet I am. I'll be taking these as well. I have 19 in the inventory. Don't care. Want more. Will take. Will take. Money is practically... Thanks to rare Sotalysis, like, money is practically no object. I'll go ahead and... Well, you know what? Let me see how much... The Radiant Armor is before I... Wait, what am I doing? Oh, oh, I chased off the pirates. Okay. She's wearing another wreath from, uh... From that little girl. Boy, that little girl is making some good business, let me tell you. No one lower learned village is safe. Yeah, so there's where you can get some of those if you want them. Okay, so, so they say the shops restock every 24 hours of in-game time, but that doesn't seem to work for me. I actually tried it there just now, and it didn't work. I passed 48 hours, and it still didn't restock. So, there must be some other stipulation, and that's totally understandable if there is. Because you shouldn't be able to abuse it like that, and I'm glad. I'm actually glad that doesn't work. <laughs> I'm glad that other people have to do more work to do what they want to do in this game. 
Yeah, I really am. Okay, so we'll take this. Yep. We might actually have enough right now for it all, but I kind of don't know. If they're all 800, then yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know how I've missed getting this ever since I... Good lord. Oh, right. It's like the wrestler's costume, isn't it? Jeez. <laughs> Link just has some really unique looks, let me tell you. I don't need to get more money. If I need more later, I'll get it, but I'm not going to go carrying it around with me. Not that, not that there's any danger in doing that, but now I want to see how much can we upgrade this one. I know we need luminous stones. We've been picking up a few. Not as many as I would like, but probably enough to get it at least to level one. And we can figure out the rest from there. Once again, like luminous stone is probably something I could farm off screen. If I had like a usual spot that I would go to. Well, that's the thing. I just haven't been wandering the depths, you know? Like, we haven't even touched the depths hardly. Except for that, a few spots. And we don't have the rest of the mining armor yet, you know? We're supposed to still get that. I never went and did that. I was intending to. That was gonna be it for, like... Like, I thought I was basically done with the whole mining, the, or, like, gathering pieces of armor thing, and now it's like, hey, wait. There's, like, a whole other couple of pieces here we haven't gotten yet. Can't believe I forgot about the Radiant armor, though. Like, I don't think we're in a position just yet where we'll be able to fully capitalize on this. But, for the time being, I am definitely going to go as far as I can with it, so hello. It's probably just Luminous Stones for level 1, but I need to look and see. Mm-hmm, enhanced to the max. Relax to the max. Oh, okay, you need both Goblin Guts too. We have 86. You know, that's not bad. But I'm guessing it's gonna be 20 each for level 2. Let's just go ahead and do this. Okay, gives off a lurid, mysterious glow in the dark. Hell yeah. Okay, so let's see. What do we need for level 2? <clears throat> well, I guess I could have just done the head. Uh, Luminous Stones again, but only 15, not... Oh, modeling guts. Oh. Okay. Uh, I see how you're gonna... Mm -hmm. I see what you're putting down here. You know, at least we had enough to get one of them, so... That's better than nothing. You know, in case we decide we want to use this. I think... I feel like maybe this armor speeds you up at night, too, but maybe not. I think with this armor, actually what it is is Stalfos don't attack you. Or Stal Moblins and stuff like that. Yeah, I guess it's gonna do it for that. I mean, is that basically a video here? Because I don't know. I don't feel like it is. Jeez, man. What have we been doing all this time? I just went to the Great Fairy. Like, what did I do? Literally, what did I do in this video? I don't even remember. <laughs> and I just did it. I literally just did it, and I don't even remember. I've recorded so many videos, I think my brain is fried at this point. Well, that Korok took up like 10 minutes of it. I remember that. Oh, man. We just maybe grab a few Koroks while we're here or something? I don't know. Yeah, I see three pretty easy ones we can grab. First of all, I'm gonna jump over here to Manhandla Bridge, which I'm not sure we've been to this bridge. When I think Manhandla Bridge, I think of, like, the bridges, the three bridges in a row down where the gumball machine is, but no. That's actually Dig Dogger Bridge. I see it. It's right there. Okay. Uh-huh. Boop. That was a kind of a pleasing sound in some odd way. Alright, so that's one. Let me go around to the other side here. Come around to the other side when you don't have to run. There I go, quoting that song again. There I thought I was like quoting something famous here, but no. Huh. Gotta do that some other time. There's like this React video I watched today where it was like, can you name the 90s song just based off of the lyrics? And I was basically able to get most of them. A lot of the rap ones I didn't get. Like, I didn't get getting jiggy with it, because I don't know that song at all. I just know the part that everybody sings, but... Eh. And then I have the audacity to accuse other people of not knowing the rest of Let's Do the Time Warp, you know? Yeah, that's me, I guess you just... Yep, yeah, that's just me. Uh, my character flaws coming out in droves here. Coming apart at the seams, boy, I tell you. But anyway, I was about to, what was I about to say, though, there? Oh, yeah, I guess one of the songs was Genie in a Bottle by Christina Aguilera. When that song first came out, I just kind of hated it. <laughs> I don't hate it as much now, but I still think it's kind of like, uh... Is that a bomb flower? Hang on a second here, what is it? That's a golden, oh, you want a golden apple. 
Well, I have one, and they're not that hard to find, so okay. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go. We'll, we'll do it. Just don't throw it in the wrong place and roll it down the hill or something. Dude. That's better. Bing! Alright, that's two. One more croc and then this video's done. And then you can go to bed or whatever you're doing. Or eat supper or something. Or go bowling. Because yeah, you could do that too. This should be pretty fast. It's just in the middle of the river. Alright, so two of them get us over there so these fine young folks can go to bed. Mm-mm-mm. Actually, I think it's further down than this. It's gonna be kind of hard to see it from this high up, though. And we're not even really that high up, are we? Is it right there? Hang on a second here. The river gets really thin. Yeah, I think it's there, actually. It's just a rock. Yeah, it totally is. Oh my god. Is that a boot? Am I standing on a boot right now? Is it the four-toed statue from Lost? Oh, hell yeah, dude. And it's got a Korok on it, because of course it does. What doesn't have a Korok on it these days? Oh my god, don't get up a bunch of energy now. You should have used that energy in the actual video, instead of saving it all for the end. Good lord, dude. Anyway, thanks y'all for watching. I appreciate you so much. Leave a like if you don't mind, because that really helps the channel and all that stuff. I know everybody says that, and I don't. Maybe I should, but that's okay. Just buy, man. Good lord. Oh, man. Don't even... Ugh. Oh. Also, Genie comes from a lamp, not a bottle.